beautiful butterflies and welcome back to Cooking with Lori. Today I have something for everyone, you meat lovers and the vegans. And so today I'm going to be making vegetable egg rolls and steak and shrimp egg rolls. Come on, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start out washing my broccoli and I'm using fresh vegetables. to the pot and we're gonna put it in here and then we're gonna go back over to the sink okay so we're gonna break up our cauliflower and we're gonna wash it Don't worry about because you have a few of the dark ones in there. It doesn't matter. You're not going to use them anyway. And we can just put this right in there with the um, broccoli. And then we'll let it cook until it's tender. Not mushy, but tender. To this, add salt. And the reason you're adding salt to it is because anytime you add salt later after you cook vegetables, no matter if it's a potato or whatever, it's just, it's just a little bit too late because this is um, boiling. And if it boils in water and you don't add anything to it, that's just what it's going to taste like. It's going to taste like water. And if you try to add it afterwards, it's going to give you a taste that's just like too strong. So always add whatever you're going to add while you're cooking over here, I'm just going to add a little special blend here. You could have went just like it is if you want it crunchy. And that's how I'm going to uh, do this as well. I'm just gonna let it cook just a little bit, but I want a little crunch, okay? A little more. This has carrots and it's uh, just a super blend of uh, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, and so it's just basically the same thing I put over there, but it's shredded and it's going to give you more of a crunch. Other uh, vegetables, I added salt and black pepper. So I'm adding some olive oil to my pan so that I can um, stir fry the beef steak. And it's basically already cooked, so you're basically just warming it up. And then to this, I'm going to add onions, add green bell pepper, some scallions. I call them green onions, but whatever the case, I'm adding them. Using olive oil cuts back on a lot of things. So it's good to use. I added soy sauce to the uh, steak. So now we're ready to combine uh, the steak and the shrimp and the cheese together so that we can begin to make our steak and shrimp egg rolls. The, we're gonna make these first because remember I also said that we're going to do something for the vegans as well. All right, some vegetable egg rolls. So we're gonna start out um, with our steak. We're gonna put our shrimp, small shrimp, get small shrimp. Some American cheese. And then I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. And this right here is just some cornstarch and water to seal our um, egg roll wraps. So let's give this a good mixing here. And now I'm gonna add uh, a little bit of shredded blend.
for our vegan egg rolls, adding cheese, blended cheese, Parmesan cheese, soy sauce. And then I'm gonna just add a little honey to this. Just a little bit. Nothing to overbear it, but a little corn syrup. Our egg rolls are ready, our steak and cheese, and our vegetarian egg rolls. So let's get to frying. Let's place them in. And we're gonna cook these just until they're um, golden brown. Nothing really has to cook on the inside. It's already done. They are turning uh, golden brown and they're cooking very nicely. And we're just about ready to take these out. Ready? Take out. So our egg rolls are ready. These are our vegan egg rolls and I will be uh, tasting those. And these are our steak and shrimp egg rolls and Kai are, is going to be tasting those, all right? Okay, Kai, come on, let's go. That is good. All right, everyone. Thank you again for watching another session of Cooking with Lori. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to press that post notification bell so that every time I post a video, you will be notified. Thank you.